Hi, John Valvano here. Let me show you how to measure the voltage and current across the LED. Uh, we have lab eight running, and we can see here that the, um, uh, the LED is on. But we've added this special wire here to PD3, and that's gonna be your voltmeter. And over on the screen right here, we can see what the voltage is. I've got it tied to ground, and so we can see that it's uh, 0.0 volts. All right, next I'll move it over to the other end of the 470 ohm resistor. There's the resistor, and now we can see that we're measuring here uh, 1.1 volts. If I were to move it to the other side of the LED, uh, it wouldn't work because it's beyond the range of this voltmeter. This voltmeter goes from zero to uh, three volts. And this voltage here is above three volts, but it's about three volts. So you'll have to take my word for it that somewhere around 3 volts is the other end of the diode. All right, what just happened? We have PE1, which is the output of the microcontroller, tied to one end of the diode. And then we have the 470 ohm resistor here tied to ground. This was 0.0, .0 volts. This is 1.1 volts, and this is about 3 volts. It may be a little higher, but it's about 3 volts. Okay, so we can calculate the voltage across the diode as 3.0 minus 1.1, which you can see is 1.9 volts. But more interestingly, we can measure the current. Because this current equals that current, we can measure the current across the diode by actually measuring the current across the resistor, which is 1.1 volts minus zero over 470. And this is gonna be, for this situation, about four milliamps. Now, when you do your measurement, uh, these numbers may be different, but this current will be somewhere in the two to four milliamp range. Now, it wasn't a requirement for you to own a voltmeter to do this class. But if you have one, you might as well use it. And so here's my voltmeter, and I'm gonna attach my ground, because you always have to attach a ground to use the meter. And we'll do the same three measurements. We'll first measure ground here, which is zero volts. And then we'll measure the voltage across the resistor, which we can see is actually 1.2 volts. And we can also measure properly measure the voltage on the other side of the diode right here, which we can see is about three volts. And so if you do the math on this, it comes out a little bit different, but approximately the same. So in summary, what we did is we verified the circuit works by measuring the voltage and current across the uh, LED and the resistor. Okay, now you try it.